Hello and welcome to another episode of Low Tech Hell. Doing it in the building. No, no, what building it is because there are no distinguishing characteristics though. So ha ha ha. Welcome to another episode of Low Tech Hell. Let ourselves translate expert knowledge. Tonight is Save Our Souls Sunday. Happy Easter, everybody. The tradition of Easter has been lost. There is no austerity in Easter. We're eating candy. We're shoving our faces full of all the bountiful, intoxicating fruits of gluttony. No austerity. No giving to the ultimate Easter God. We don't even know why. We don't even know who Easter is. Anyways, tonight, today, <sighs> was a literal shit show. And on this Save Our Souls Sunday, I think we need to talk about how things happen in the hospital. And you need to tell your family what it looks like. And you need to be honest early about how violent someone can be. We have a nice little <sighs> seizure patient that I found out today has autism, which means he doesn't exactly relay emotionally in the neurotypical fashion of following rules and being devout and complicit and compliant with those rules. He doesn't know what these are. The rules of society, the socialized, don't hit humans as targets. So, he threw himself around today. He fought, he punched his girlfriend in the face. He pulled his rectal tube out, which I don't blame him. But he tried to pull his Foley out, which for those that don't know, the Foley is a catheter that is inserted into their urethra and then exposed banded with this balloon to keep it from coming out. So as he's pulling, this is trying to birth a baby through his urethra. This 10 ml filled balloon balloon to his urethra. So it started bleeding. He's bleeding out of his penis now. Bleeding all over the place. And this isn't just calmly bleeding like, oh, what do we do? He's fighting us as he's bleeding. He's kicking us. He's throwing himself out of the bed. Meanwhile, there's shit everywhere, all over the floor in his bare feet as he's trying to stand up, scuttling those shit-covered bare feet. And I don't really know how to help. We hold him down, we sedate him, and then we do it again in a few hours. As he gets stronger, less ill, this will happen with more intensity. And he said the saddest thing, just let me die. Let me die. We don't want you to die. We want to protect you. We want to help you get safe so you can get out of the hospital. Don't think it's going through to make sense to him. So the hardest part is telling him why we won't let him die. And this was a very proud moment. I said, because I like you like him. I do. He's very strong. Strong-willed, curious, unreasonable people can change the world. So what am I trying to say on the Save Our Souls Saturday? Well, I would like to say thank you to those who train and help socialize the less than neurotypical the people who sit in class and don't seem right, seem like a little weirdo, and they don't get as much interaction as the popular kids. So what ends up happening is they get more and more involved in themselves, in their self-talk, which generally is negative due to bullying and this overwhelming nervousness that you don't fit in. You don't belong with society, with other humans. You don't belong. And that's a terrible feeling. And it's not true. Because I like them. I like people who aren't popular. And you need to learn how to like people who aren't popular. If you're going to save our souls, not save my soul or save your soul, it's save our souls Sunday. Because what's the point of enlightenment if all my friends aren't there too? Thank you, guys. I love you. Happy Austria. See you tomorrow.